Welcome back to another Geek Watch video. And today I'm going to be reviewing this Thy Eye 4K action camera. We've constantly gone about GoPro killers, and let me tell you, this is the closest I've got so far. As always, let's start with a quick physical overview. The unit is of course constructed mainly of plastic with a line grippy surface around the edge and a brushed aluminum effect on the front alongside the eye logo on the bottom. There's also a recording LED on the front alongside a Wi-Fi indicator light so you know what's going on and the status of the camera. On the top right, there's also the actual camera lens and sensor with the bowed front glass to facilitate for the very wide nature of the lens and the lenses you'd see on other action cameras, GoPros, that kind of thing. The power button is also located on the front and you're holding for on and off functionality and tap whilst the camera is on to change the modes from photo, video, playback and settings that those are all accessible using that singular button. On the top we see a Wi-Fi button which not only enables the camera's Wi-Fi functionality with a long press but also triggers recording with a tap. Talking of Wi-Fi, on a camera of this price bracket is the best implementation I've seen yet. It works well with a couple of bugs but nothing terribly compromising. In short, the camera transmits its own Wi-Fi hotspot with an SSID and a password which you then key into your phone. So that basically means that when you're connected to the Wi-Fi of the camera, you can't access any other functionality on your phone such as Twitter, it just won't work. You need to use the Wi-Fi solely for transmission to the camera and that's kind of a good thing and a bad thing. It's the way pretty much all cameras with Wi-Fi hotspots work and it won't dig into your 3G or Wi-Fi allowance and it'll work anywhere that you decide to take the camera. Also along the top we have our microphone for internal audio recording and along the bottom a battery door which houses one 1100mAh battery which comes included. A standard tripod screw mount is a great addition also along the bottom alongside another uh, recording LED indicator. Incredibly useful when the front of the device cannot be seen so you've got it mounted on bicycle handlebars, that kind of thing. Both sides also play host to a large amount of functionality, with up and down arrows for menu navigation on the one side and a micro SD card slot, micro HDMI port and micro USB port for charging on the other side. Overall nothing out of the ordinary but definitely covers all the necessary bases. Now let's take a look at the audio, daytime and nighttime tests of course and the recording of this unit itself because that's what you really came for. This is an outside vlogging test with the eye uh, action camera at 4K 30 frames per second. This would be moderate wind and a slightly overcast sky. If you did want to use this camera for a little vlogging. So you saw the test. The audio is subpar, the nighttime quality also not the greatest. But if you came into this review under the impression that this would make a great low light camera, you're sadly very mistaken. The small sensor size of any action camera results in poor low light performance and providing you use this in an environment with enough light, you'll be good. In 9 out of 10 cases when people but they're using GoPro style cameras to record. They're actually recording outdoor activities in kind of daytime or decent lighting. And overall, whilst this definitely isn't GoPro standard, it is a fraction of the price and provides a nice balance between the really cheap Chinese knockoffs and the really expensive Hero 5, Hero 4 cameras. So overall, it really isn't bad. Links to pick this up in Amazon are, of course, in the description. And as always, please do make sure to share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram if you did enjoy it. Drop a like rating below to bump this up in YouTube's algorithms or something like that. Uh, liking this video probably looks quite good. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more content from me. Follow my Twitter at GeekerWatt. But as always, we'll see you in the next GeekerWatt video.